vlog. It's Ali and welcome back to my channel. And today's edition of Ali Vlogs, we are in bum, ba, dum, bum. Bondi. Bondi. We are in Bondi Beach and it so far is so beautiful. It Sydney in general has really reminded us of San Diego. It looks just like it. And then Bondi is like especially similar. Uh, but we have a really fun day planned. We're meeting up with this girl that Ariel met through Instagram that seems really cool. Um, so we're gonna hang out and get breakfast with her and then she told us about this really cool beautiful spot that we need to go snorkel at so we're gonna go there afterwards and just kind of walk around and see the sights it's kind of I think it's definitely gonna be a more sunny day today like the sun is coming out right now Ugh, such good vibes this this you guys is our last full day in Australia we fly home tomorrow and that is just so hard to believe that in like 48 hours, I guess maybe like 36 hours, 72 hours, I'll be back in Oklahoma. So many mixed emotions about leaving. I'm happy to go see my family and I'm happy to go see my boyfriend, but I'm so sad to be leaving Australia, especially because these last few days have been so incredible, just exploring more of it. But I know I'll be back here at some point to look and explore more and maybe I'll live here again. But for right now, we're not gonna think about any of that. We're just gonna live in the moment and soak in today. I think this one's my favorite so far. I think that is like my least favorite. If I was a mermaid, my tail would be like a translucent, it'd be like translucent, clear, like kind of opaque whitish colors, but it's glittery. Not sparkly, but like glittery. And then the tip of it would be like a dark navy blue with like gold specks. And my top would be, two perfect like white the classic like white clamshells that'd be the top and then uh, my power my power would be to be able to look into the stars and to see the future for other people and so they come to me whenever they're like about to go on like a voyage or a mission or something and they come to me to, for like to see how it's gonna go but I it's not very clear like I, I get kind of like it's kind of like a bit more vague okay so my mermaid tail is like emerald green maybe more like this green. yeah like a Sage. foresty yeah. like you know and it's like gray at the uh -huh, end it's got yeah. like lots of like flutters yeah um, I like that. Yeah, and it like also is like pretty like like shimmery a little yeah. bit, not like glitter. Shimmer, yeah. You know what I mean? Like shimmer. I like shimmery. that. And it's really tiny scales, really tiny. Yeah. So it's like it looks really cool. Yeah. And then my top is actually just scales coming up. Ooh. Uh -huh. And it like goes up and like around the top. Yeah. And then it just like kind of stops. Yeah. It doesn't go all the way around my neck. It yeah. just kind of stops and it like lays perfectly. Yeah. Um, if you have Sims 4 Island Paradise and you can make a mermaid, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, <laughs> so that's what that looks like. And my power is actually to be able to communicate with marine life. Yeah. Like I can talk to them just like me and you are talking right yeah. now. And I help them from danger. Nice. <laughs>
I'm not trying to make like, pictures and everything on it. beautiful place unfortunately a lot of trash in the water and um, our friend Nina was saying that's because of the storms that the storms that have been blowing through are blowing all the trash inwards but um, there's so much but the snorkeling was so cool visibility wasn't the greatest but there we still saw some really cool stuff as you guys saw we saw Wabagong it was saddled up right next to Ariel and she was clueless that was so crazy to see snorkeling through and swimming through and seeing all the kelp beds and it just oh it's so it's such a different type of snorkeling and from what I've done before, it's so different, so it's so beautiful. And then we saw a freaking Lucy dragon. Why am I blinking on the nudibranch? Nudibranch, yeah. We saw some nudibranchs, and I have never seen. I've seen. I've had people like point them out to me sometimes during like snorkeling or scuba diving, but I never got a good look. This is the closest I've ever seen it, and it is like a freaking alien. The one we saw was a blue sea dragon. Very apt name because I looked at it, I was like, that looks like a freaking dragon.
dragon. It was the coolest creature I've ever seen. That's going down. It's like, I want to say that's the coolest thing I've ever seen in my entire life, personally, because it was so, it was so itty bitty, but it was so, I was so obsessed with it, and it was just so tiny and adorable, but also very venomous. Um, Ariel, do you want to explain why they're venomous? Yeah, so in Australia, they call them blue buttons. In America, we call them something different. I can't remember exactly, but they're these little circular, almost like jellyfish. They're not, they're hydroids, but they float on the surface. They're pelagic, and so are these nudibranchs. So the nudibranchs will eat the blue button and will steal their stinging cells. So that makes them venomous. They're highly venomous, actually. We'll send you into a hospital, so don't touch them if you ever see them in the wild. Just admire them. But admire them. They're so cool, though, and I think it's oh, so, so awesome. So beautiful. Like, the most beautiful yeah. creature I've ever seen. It just looks something out of this world. It's crazy to think those things are in our oceans. And there are so many of them washed up, along yeah. with the blue buttons, on the shore. So we tried to rescue some of them and put them in a little tide pool. Hopefully they survive. But well, we did our best. They're made to be in the open ocean, which is really cool because they're one of the few nudibranchs that actually are made out to live in the open ocean. And, and they don't need a substrate or anything no, to they latch onto? No, they just swim. And they swim and munch on little blue bottles. That is so cool because you can see buttons. them. Whenever you put them in the tide pool, you can see them swimming and you're like, what the heck, little dude, so you go. Crazy. This has been such a lovely time at Gordon's Bay. A perfect, like, last full day here in Australia. 100%. Literally could not ask for a better send-off. And so we're gonna hang out at the beach for a little while longer. We're gonna head on home, start packing, do our laundry, probably cry a little bit, get some dinner, and say goodbye to Australia, yeah. so. I need to tell everyone. So, I'm snorkeling, right? You see the video, I obviously don't know that there's a shark. People, people being Nina and Ali, start screaming at me, Ariel, look, look! And I'm, it's murky, guys. It's a little bit of a murkier place to snorkel. My heart dropped. I thought a great white was gonna come and eat me. And like, no one's telling me like, well, one, we're all underwater. Two, we all have our snorkels in our mouths, so we're going, ah! And, and it was terrifying. But it was so cool. I was like, oh, that was so cool. Yeah, anyway. Crazy experience. Crazy, crazy. 10 crazy. out of 10. 10 out of 10. Hey guys, I just wanted to pop in real fast and just give an extra special shout out to Nina. Um, our friend that was with us that day, Ariel had met her through Instagram and she's the girl that owns the Coconut Casa store. And she was already going to gift Ariel a free snorkel set from the Coconut Casa store that she has. Um, and then because she found out that I was coming with Ariel, she gave me one too. Just like a free snorkel set. And then she bought us our breakfast and uh, drinks and everything. And then she drove, told us about Gordon's Bay and then she drove us there all before she had to go to work. And I, she just made this day, this last day, so extra special for us and would, took us to this place that otherwise we would not have been able to go. And I didn't have a snorkel set, so to her for her to give me one, just out of all of this, out of the kindness of her heart, was so incredible and i just one of those very few special like very just kind genuine humans in the world she was so amazing um so really guys go check out her store coconut casa store on instagram um you would be supporting not only an amazing small business with amazing snorkel gear and other little goodies but also just a really amazing human being in general um so if you support small businesses definitely check this one out she is so worth it um, and I'm so grateful that we got to meet her. And so thank you, Nina. I hope you're watching this and love you so much. Mwah. Hey vlog, sorry. It's gonna be a little bit noisy. I just wanted to go ahead and, oh, this is so awkward if they're gonna watch it actually. I just wanted to go ahead and end the vlog here. We're about to go get dinner. And then like I said, we're gonna pack up and head on out tomorrow morning. And I guess not only is it the end of this vlog, but this is kind of officially marks the end of my Australia vlogs, which is so, Sad. I wish I wasn't leaving, but circumstances kind of out of my control have led to this. And I really, really hope I can come back at some point. And I'm like, maybe this is just the path my life was meant to lead. 
Maybe I was supposed to leave and go to Alaska and then go on another adventure afterwards. Um, I wish I wasn't leaving and that's kind of just the truth of it. I, I want to stay. I feel like there's a lot more for me here to do and accomplish and I've loved my time here. Um, but I suppose going forward, I just have to have no regrets about anything because I don't want to live carrying regrets for something that I have that I have no control over. So very, very bittersweet day today. It was a really great day, but just full of sadness for myself just because I'm totally grieving. Leaving here, even though I do feel excitement for my future and where I go after this and to see my, see everyone that I love. Um, and I feel like this last week has honestly provided a lot of clarity of what I want in my future, what I want to do with my career, um, what my priorities are in my life. And so that's been like invaluable. Yeah, I feel really sad <laughs> right now. I feel so sad. But for everyone that's been subscribed and following along for my Australia adventures, this is where it comes to an end. But don't leave me yet. <laughs> don't leave yet. Uh, stay tuned for the Alaskan adventures. I promise they're just as crazy and exciting and lots of other different wildlife and wild people. So that's what's coming up next in this next chapter of my life. And then after that, in like August, September, Stay tuned for whatever's next. For all of you Aussies out there that followed me to see this little American in Australia journey, thank you. Thank you for all the helpful advice, the tips on weather, on food, on people, on places to go, on everything. Um, every one of you that commented or liked or anything, um, I read your comments and I appreciated every single one of them. Uh, and I appreciate you guys trying to help me navigate uh, your incredible country. I really do think that I will be back one day. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next vlog.